Um, just wanted to show you all this little strategy guide on how to deal with being outnumbered. So I am currently playing as the Sassanid Empire for Total War Attila. And this is a uh, faction that comes with the main game. It's not a DLC, so it's okay. And I was outnumbered by two Eastern Roman Empire armies. I had about 900 men, as you can see. I've got these Armenian spears, pretty much is the bulk of my infantry. Um, I did have a second army, and this took place outside Alexandria. I had invaded a vast majority of the Roman territory. Like, I pushed them way back. And as you can see, like, they're bringing a lot of elite units as well. We've got heavy spears. We've got some heavy melee swordsmen. And then here's their general here in the Palatina Guards. So we are in foggy weather conditions as well. I'm just going to go ahead and speed up the battle a little bit. And so I, at this point I couldn't see where the enemy was. They were here just sitting still waiting for me to move out pretty clearly. Um, so I went for a very defensive tactic. As you can see I've put about three, four, five, six, six of my heavy spearmen on this side. I've then got another six facing the front and I've got three facing the right flank because I'm going to try and sort of encroach them like in a circle around here and you can see the enemy moving forward now that they've spotted my uh, mercenary cataphracts and these are medium shock cav and as you can see the Romans have decided to go and send their equites after me they do outnumber me by like a thousand guys They've got about 2,000 soldiers, I have about 9,000. So, this is a pretty quick, intense fight, but I can handle most of what they throw at me. They haven't noticed my troops here yet, which is really strange, but they are continuing to march forward. And these guys have gone into a brace formation to counter my cav. They think I'm going to go for them, but no. I send my cav through these tree lines. Their general is right at the back, and as you can see, shot cav straight into their general, right at the back. Their guys are panicking now, their archers have opened fire, they're sending in two more units of scout equites, and these two units of scout equites back here are coming in to take me out. We are heavily outnumbered in all manner of speaking. And their general does eventually start to retreat, as you can see here, and then we kill him. So we kill the general of the first army, which is great. Unfortunately, that was the only chance we had. And I, I think this this animation here looks really cool as well. I just wanted to say that. This little testudo formation, so to speak. And my cav here, there's not much we can do. I'm just kind of holding off their cav as best I can. And their forces, now that they've spotted my army, they're charging in. Uh, they're, uh, they've got some levies here that can't really do too much damage against my heavy forces and I charge the bulk of my units straight into them as well uh, so I'm as you can see I'm like not far from the back of the map I force the enemy to come straight to me that's another thing you should do when you're in this outnumbered situation and then uh, these heavy spears charge at this flank my spearmen here are charging on this flank and both flanks are going well I'm also opening fire uh, with my crossbow cav. My general is moving forward just a little bit to keep the morale of my troops up and as you can see I've lost my little cav battle over there which isn't too great but at the same time you know I can recover and we took out their general so it's okay for now at least. As you can see some of the enemy are starting to rout already they're wavering because their general has died so killing the general has a really negative effect. Especially when it comes to the morale of your troops. I accidentally let these guys get into the enemy attack here. I should have pulled my cav pack when I had the chance. I sent my general after their ranged guys but then decided to send him into the back of these guys. Because you've got to use hammer and anvil as best you can. I'm trying to defeat these forces here before this army gets here. So there's their second army of reinforcements. If I was the AI, I would have just waited till 
the bulk of my forces were all together. But because the AI is a bit incompetent in Total War games, considering this is the normal difficulty, they decided not to, for whatever reason. So as you can see, we're winning the uh, little slaughter fest that's going on here. We're forcing a bit of a chain route as well. My forces here were victorious. We are being hit by these bloody Velite skirmish units. They're very effective. They've got a, they've got more ranged units than me, which is partially why they won the fight. And as you can see, I'm starting to because I won both the, the small skirmishes here and here. I've now begun to flank the bulk of their troops. And if this was all they had to offer in this fight, I would have won completely. As you can see, uh, I've lost about 200 guys, and they've lost about 800 guys so far. So their head count is really bad compared to mine. My general is starting to take some fire, so I pulled him back over there. He's got 16 men left. And as you can see, the skirmish here is pretty much won. But it's almost all too late because the second legion, they're exhausted, but they're still charging. It looks like they've just charged their way all over here. The heavier the unit, the more tired out it's going to get as well. So by now, both our forces are very tired, which can affect morale. It can affect um, how long your soldiers can fight for before they start taking more casualties. And we're just being peppered down by all their ranged units. You know, we've got some mercenary Germanic hull hurlers. We've got some uh, very light bow infantry. We've got some velites that my cav have decided to go after. There's too many ranged units for me to deal with, in other words. We've also got some mounted crossbowmen. And they've got most no dustbees all the way at the back. They're shaken, though. I, I don't know why, they just kind of ignore that unit. The yeah, AI will do that sometimes. We are starting to rout some of their units here. Uh, but these are the units from the previous army. Because their general died, so they're kind of uh, shitting themselves, so to speak. And we are doing okay with our two cav units here. We're routing their archers and hurlers. Forcing them into retreat. But they're getting too many pot shots on my guys, which is essentially how they're, you know, winning so far. And you can see now there's too many Romans for me to deal with. I am outnumbered after all, but this is the best I could do in this fight situation. My general here is about to do a flank uh, hammer and anvil charge, but he hasn't got enough men to be effective in this charge. And this is where he dies, unfortunately which is probably what led to me losing the battle. I can't actually see where my general died. I think they got like a pot shot on him as he was retreating over here. I can't find his body anywhere. But I assume it's somewhere around here. And you can just see the bloodshed, all the dead Romans. So if our general hadn't fallen, I think maybe I could have won. I don't know. I have high hopes that I could have won this battle. I mean, in time, I think we could have easily won it. But our troops were exhausted. But then again, their troops were also exhausted. And you can just see it's turned into this little slug match now. Our spearmen are being surrounded. My forces have started to chain route because our general has recently died. So that breaks their morale. Killing the general in the battle can really just affect morale extremely which is why most of the time you should have your general near the back lines or at least well protected because his ability all the time is if he's close to his troops then he will just you know improve morale and as you can see we're starting to lose we've got a minute left until our, the last of our units decide to flee oh look at that execution nice rip his guts out there jeez Talk about an overkill. They start to send their ranged units in to provide backup. The last of their cav unit here, the scout equites, are slowly but surely deteriorating. I think, is there general in that unit? Because he looks like a general to me. I can't really tell. 
I don't think they, this army, the second army, had a general because I couldn't see anyone with a star above their name, above the unit thing. So I don't think they did. Oh well. It was an unvaliant defeat at the end of the day. But it was a defeat nonetheless. My men put up a decent fight. We were just outnumbered, as I said. The best way to deal with it is to get into a defensive formation, have a reasonable mix of units, and essentially use the hammer and anvil tactic to the best of your abilities. Protect your flanks, take out as many of their ranged units as you can, take out the general as best you can, keep your general alive. There's so many things to focus on all at the same time. So that's why any battle can really go any way. We only just lost this battle partially because my general died but at the same time we could have just lost it anyway because we were outnumbered severely both our troops were exhausted anyway <clears throat> thanks for watching guys i just wanted to show you this little awesome clip here and i hope you appreciate my little strategy guide on how to deal with being severely outnumbered and i will show you my sassanid empire campaign so far and how well it's going on the normal difficulty I'm doing pretty well apart from now against the West Eastern Roman Empire. I keep getting those two mixed up. And I will catch up with you guys later in the next video. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace out.